not sure how much you guys know about the Orion Wars or Closed Dark Time. I have a video on a Closed Dark Time, the Orion Wars. I'll probably do a video on that in the future, the near future, the distant future. I'm not really sure. Uh, that's a really important topic that there's lots of pieces of the puzzle to. Kind of similar to a Closed Dark Time where they ended up using people as resources for an elite group to live longer. Orion, I'm not exactly sure why they were doing it. That part is a little blurry and I think it's because it's really similar to why they're doing similar things on Earth right now under the radar, but it's coming to light as it always does. It's a part of universal law, really. But in Orion, it's basically a human slave trade. Let's, let's say that, okay? It was definitely not all love and light. What is up starseeds? It's Sid and I am on the back patio. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about how different souls, well, how the same souls are living out similar archetypes over and over again. And yes, you can break the cycle, your soul's mission, your soul's, I mean, personality slightly, but more so your soul mission, your belief systems, your intentions, your actions, the sides you pick can change, relationship dynamics change, um, where you are on the spectrum of good versus bad can change. But a lot of the times it remains pretty, pretty steady. So there was a dark time in Orion really recently. A lot of the souls who were in that corrupt government in Orion were the same souls who were actually in the corrupt government in Altair and Aquila. They're also a lot of the same corrupt souls who are on Earth right now. And they've probably, a lot of them, been other places too, like Aldebaran during their dark time, etc., etc. Okay, a lot of those souls in the corruption are the same souls, particularly the corrupt government on Earth right now and the corrupt government in Orion very recently, okay? A lot of the same souls who were victims in Orion are victims on Earth now. We're also victims in other places as mentioned, like Altair, Aquila, Aldebaran, what have you. A lot of the same freedom fighters on Earth right now were freedom fighters in Orion, were freedom fighters in Altair, okay? Same people doing the same thing in a different place. Slightly different scenarios, but it's the same soul mission. So they are going to keep at it until they complete the mission to the extent that they really want to on a soul level, okay? Also, people can shift, okay? Where you are on the spectrum of good and bad can shift. There is hope, it's not this thing that should piss you off because when I realized this it kind of pissed me off because the the same people the same dudes in Orion are doing it again earth is Orion 2.0 and I realized that on a negative level I was so pissed but the same freedom fighters are still fighting for freedom that can also piss me off a little bit because it's like why do we still have to do this it's for good reason okay but have hope because some of some of the bad guys in Orion are switching sides now and they're trying to hop on the good side on earth. It's happening, okay? It is. Not not on a huge massive level this shifting to the light. But we don't need a huge shift because there's already way way more people on board with good intentions. Okay? I'm not here to talk about numbers and percentages of good versus evil. It's all on a spectrum. Okay, I just wanted to bring to light the fact that the souls are still around. The souls remember Orion, maybe not consciously, but a lot of us have that same similar energy on Earth right now. Soul themes, soul archetypes are so real throughout the universe. 
throughout all these different incarnations. This feels super unique. It also feels like we've been doing it for a while. Cause we have, <laughs> okay? Because yes, this is its own unique experience, but there's been sort of similar things in the past, okay? Like I said, different scenario, slightly different, but the intention behind it, you know, that's engraved in our soul themes and our soul mission. I don't wanna say don't believe in a purpose, that sounds so negative, but it's all okay if we don't complete the mission. Like I've said in, you know, previous videos, one in particular recently, the, the most powerful thing I learned is that it's always okay. You know, it's all about the experience. That's the purpose. Everyone's purpose. Experience. Just experience life. Go frolic in a field. I don't give a fuck. The mission is what you want to accomplish. The missions are the goals. Because there's multiple, you know? Might be one main one, hundred minor ones, whatever. But yeah same orion corruption is the same earthly corruption same orion freedom fighters are the same earthly freedom fighters a lot of the same orion victims are the same earthly victims and it's our job to I don't want to say it's our job we don't have to it's okay if we don't but it's our mission we should help people save people help earth save earth help just kind of like the collective energy in general, save the collective energy in general, you know? Not that it really needs saving, but if we want it to be more on that good side of the spectrum, if that's what we came here to do, let's freaking do it. Let's live every second of every day with that intention because it's easier to forget here, right? And that's okay, it's all always okay, but if we want shit to get done, let's try to remember that. And like I said, people can shift. Some of the people who were good freedom fighters in Orion shift into the dark side now on Earth. They've had enough of it. They're fed up. It's easy to go dark here. It's tempting. Don't do it. Can if you want to. Like I said, do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not switching. Some of the same people who were victims in Orion, they've had enough, you know, in a different way. Hurt people hurt people, you know? Don't do it. You can do it if you want. I hope you don't, though. I see the hope in the fact that some of the people who are doing bad things want to change, want to switch it around now, want to do the right thing now. That's hopeful. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What were you doing in Orion? What were you doing in Aquila or Aldebaran or another place? Lyra, Draco. Pleiades, what were you doing? And what are you doing now? Why did you switch to what you're doing now? Or why did you remain in the same mission as you were in before? Why? Ask yourself that tonight before you go to sleep. Tomorrow morning when you wake up and it's the weekend and you can stay in bed and just kind of ask your mind questions for an hour, a couple hours if you want to. Or even just a minute. Even just a second. Peace out, you guys.